make up those two different patients okay. um, back in the quality populations. But I think I can just select these and then copy them and paste them into any population I want. So for example, we came up with uh, clones that came mostly from the plasma B cells. If I paste that there, I can see how many of these clones came from the two different patients, and I can oh, see that's that. Interesting. Oh, that's perfect. Most of them came from 165. Right. Can you make a plot of that somehow? Yeah. That's perfect. B165 has more plasma than 166. Yeah, that's good. So there's a couple of ways that we could plot this, right? We could do like a, a volcano plot between 165 and 166, and then we're kind of asking what genes were upregulated in, in patient 165 relative to patient 166. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I'm sure there's other ways we can look at that too. I mean, if we're just interested in this clonotype, we could say, you know, what was what was upregulated in this clonotype relative to the rest of the data here? Can you do the? Can you look at the V region of one six five six five versus one six six? Like a plot, like you just did. The like naive de memory, uh, no naive de plasma cell, or how can you do it? Do you have to do it separately? But that'd be okay. Uh, I'm a little bit confused what exactly you want to see, but let me close this down because I'm going to restart. I want to make sure we don't want anything more from this plot at the moment. Can you save it though somewhere? The population. This plot. Uh, yeah. That plot. That plot's good, right? I know it seems like it's trivial, but for you... No, no, it's not, not at all.